Hello there. Let's get back to it. We're going to the Great Swamps and we're actually going to do it. Oof, it's exciting. Go on, Simonov. We're going on an adventure. I guess I'll really quick show the path we're going to be taking. We're going to exit south. We're going to hug this side of garbage to exit through the pipe down to Cordon. We're going to go turn in the quest to Sertovich and then go into the Great Swamps through this southeastern portion and then we're going to head straight to the Librarian and we're going to see if we can take all of their quests and do what they need done. We have 150 buckshot, 139 FMJ for the SKS 20 AP on the back and 80 rounds of 357. We should do well. More zombie. Not seeing anything super dangerous out here. I'm sorry, I got I got distracted by that blue on the ground. That's a generator. Is there just a generator artifact on the ground? That's wild. I love generator. Restores our batteries. I'm going to uh I'm gonna be using that. Probably save time for me. Lord knows I could use some time saved. This looks amazing, by the way. Like, for just a second. Can we just... Ooh. Oh, that's looking good. I'm gonna save that little... That little replay buffer right there. Uh, Semenov didn't listen to my command anyway. This is a very simple one. It's uh, a bunch of chemical anomalies. But it's super easy in the fact that they don't really... There's a fountain... There's not, like, a, a giant damage aura. Do I have to talk to you again? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. He needs three samples. This one, dangerous. This one, it's okay. This one, not so bad. I kind of just hate it. Here we are at the clear sky base. Check again, 22 and 87. All right, yep, yep, going up a little bit at a time. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this task, uh, task in the morning. I swear to God, if this is how I die. So we'll see. Take the sleeping pills. Get some sleep. So. Here's what's going to happen. It's going to be a little freaky. We're going to talk to him. He's going to tell us that we have to go and defend this oil rig up here. You know what? Before we actually take that, we're going to go up here and see if we can actually just like ahead of time clear mutants out of the way. Or clear out renegades that are there. We've got this right here. Like, any singular piece of cover is perfectly good until they throw a grenade. And we have to assume that they will throw a grenade. But then that, that ruins everything. Like, there there is no piece of cover that's followed by another piece of cover. So I was hoping maybe we could pull them out to that tree. But the distance between... Serpentine, get back over here. Let Semenov do some shooting. Yikes. Alright, uh, back to what we were doing. Maybe the argument is then that, uh, once you, like, get their attention, there's the boar chops. Maybe, maybe this is where you stand. You've got good sight lines for them as they come through here, as they cross that. Okay. I can see this. I can see this being, uh, being more so. You can still decently see them as they come up this way, and if need be, you can push back to this tree. This is probably the best place that we have, cover-wise. I don't know if it's really gonna get better than this. Okay, should also pop a potion when we get there. <laughs> Again, very funny to see potions here, but whatever. Okay. Anything I can do for clear sky? Yeah. No problem. I'll take care of it. Let's run. Thumb seven off. We've got work to do. See them swarming it like ants. Gonna get to our spot. Okay. 
Okay, seem good. Let's take shots. What do we see? We got a renegade there, got a renegade there. Here they come. Jesus Christ, that is so many. Notice how I got hit there. Minada? What, grenade? Grenade? Just sniping. That's all we can do here. Just good old fashioned World War goddamn one sniping. Or two, I suppose. I don't know if the SKS was used in World War One. Being Russian, I think their rifle was the Mosin Nagant in World War One. I. I don't think they really had semi auto until World War Two. I guess I could check the manufacturing date of this, but that would just be for this model. I don't know if that's accurate to... Seminar is actually putting in work here too. I think somebody's a little closer, and I think he said Granada, so I'm just gonna like move back for a second just in case. Yeah, and I'll move back in. Oh, there he is. That guy's dead. That guy is not... That's weird. I don't know. He'll be taken care of, I'm sure. You can see why I'm so, like, careful with this. I hope I've proved my point. That was a great shot by me. Thank you, me. <laughs> How we doing, bud? Oh, is he back up? He's nice. <laughs> Very funny. Alright, took 30 shots. Took one mid-kit. Could've been worse. Dan. Alright, we're going to, uh... He sees something. We're gonna bandage. Just to keep the legs going. How we're doing, bud? What do you see? I'm not moving from here until I'm certain. Alright, let's check the model real quick. What's it say? Soviet Union, Swiss Arms. Primarily during Cold War. Yeah, so probably like manufactured for World War II, if I had to guess. Which I know this is some like grade A fucking gun nerd shit to be saying, even though really I'm not even qualified to be a gun nerd. I just really like them aesthetically. Much like how in Battletech, I just really love collecting the mechs because I, I just find the variance in design the little details very very cool it's got a f cool factor that i appreciate why are you not fucking dead my man am i really that bad with lining up a far away shot is it is it going down am i aiming too high i don't know whatever i'm gonna call that good let's uh let's run back to the clear sky base next one that we have to do is an assault on that that settlement over there on the southeast where we came in i guess um all things considered we should go over there and check it out first so i'm pretty sure when we turn in this quest we are immediately given the next one <laughs> 